Hello everyone. Welcome back to a new session on dentistry and more. So today we have a periodontic topic that is natal and neonatal teeth. So we are familiar with this terminology natal and neonatal teeth. It's nothing but teeth which is present in the newborns. So let's see what is natal teeth. Natal teeth the teeth which are present at birth and neonatal teeth teeth which are present in the newborns within 30 days. So that is the difference between natal and neonatal teeth. So let's see what are the etiology of these uh, special phenomenon. The first one is febrile incidence. Then the hormonal stimulation. So this could be mostly due to the hormonal differences, hormonal imbalance, and also hereditary factors are also involved. So it mostly depends on the osteoclastic activity of that particular tooth. but so while coming to the incidence the natal teeth which are seen among 1 out of 1000 newborns and neonatal teeth is 1 out of 30000 newborns so the most common tooth involving these two phenomena are mandibular incisors that is 85% of the conditions are seen with respect to the mandibular incisor then comes the maxillary incisors that is 11 percentage then the mandibular cuspids that comes the least 3 percentage so natal and neonatal teeth are mostly associated with certain syndromes the syndromes are chondroectodermal dysplasia rigafide syndrome ellis van creval syndrome so these three syndromes and many other syndromes are mentioned only the very important three chondro ectodermal dysplasia rigafide syndrome and ellis von creval syndrome so what are the harmful effects of this natal and neonatal teeth the most common harmful effect is the laceration of baby's tongue that is lingual surface or uh, the ventral surface of the baby's tongue will be continuously injured because of this sharp edges of this Uh, teeth mostly the mandibular incisors and mostly there is feeding problems because of the inter interruption of this uh, teeth and uh, the mother also feeling having uh, problems with uh, feeding of the babies so these are the common harmful effects associated with natal and neonatal teeth so the management is first uh, we need to uh, take radiograph and uh, make sure that uh, whether it has root or not and do very careful extraction if it is very mobile and while doing extraction we have to make sure that we are not leaving any residue within the socket because if residue is there it may again start creating tissues and becoming a tooth like structures within the socket and again it will create problems for the baby and mother so if it is mobile and uh, with x ray with the help of x ray we can do extraction with proper uh, curettage of this uh, root socket and uh, if it is not mobile and if it has proper roots and if the roots are uh, starting to uh, grow then we can leave behind and uh, we can uh, let the growth of this uh, particular tooth if it is not uh, interrupting any of the baby's and mother's feeding function if it is too much interrupting and the baby's tongue is too much lacerated and feeding problem persist we have to go for extraction anyway so otherwise we can leave it behind and let the tooth grow so always uh, while doing Uh, extraction we should always protect the airway uh, using a gauze or any other thing because there is chance of uh, falling back the tooth to the airway so always we should make uh, precautions uh, while doing extractions so let's recap once natal and neonatal teeth this is seen at birth natal neonatal within 30 days and the etiology of febrile incidence hormonal stimulation hereditary and always depends on osteoclastic activity One in thousand incidents and one in thirty thousand for neonatal teeth. 
most commonly seen in mandibular incisors than maxillary incisors and mandibular cuspids syndromes are control ectodermal dysplasia ricafide syndrome and ellis von krivold syndrome harmful effects are lacerations of uh, ventral si side of the tongue of baby and feeding problems well management we can do extraction if there is uh, too much interruptions uh, for the baby and the mother feeding problems and always uh, protect the airway while doing extractions i'll come up with a new session on dentistry and more thank you